Hi there, boys and girls. Brucey here. How are you all doing out there? I have just literally downloaded Toon Tracks Easy Bait, so I thought I would give you a first impressions video of literally how easy is it? If it says it's easy, is it easy? Now, as you can see, I have a couple of the other Easy uh, plugins from Toon Track. I have Easy Drums and Easy Keys. I tend to use these. Uh, for demo purposes or for putting tracks out onto YouTube, for example. With demo purposes, I tend to use them uh, to lay out, sketch out a track, sketch out, sketch out the arrangement, and then send them over to either a drummer or a keyboard player to play the actual parts. Now, I've been really interested in hearing about Easy Bass. Uh, it was announced a while back and it's taken some time to get to us. And... Uh, I've kept my eye on it and I was really keen to download it because whilst I can find my way around the bass, I can play the bass a little bit, I am by no means a bass player. And I mean that with the utmost respect to bass players. You know, there are the butt of jokes quite a lot of the time, but, you know, it's all about the groove and there is a skill to playing the bass well. So I was kind of interested to see if Easy Bass could help me write better bass parts to give to bass players to play or... Actually, in my YouTube demos and some of my tracks, you know, I actually just put down bass parts which are better than me playing the bass myself. So I've literally just downloaded it. It looks really great. We've got the two different types of bass. And again, like I say, we are going through this just as I am going through it as well. So there's a modern bass. love the kind of string noise. It's kind of funny that we spend so much time trying to edit out kind of string noises and things like that when we recorded live bass, but then when you actually hear it in a virtual instrument, it does add that air of authenticity. So what we have is the bass. We have um, some different presets here. Let's go for deep and bright. Let's go with a vintage bass, probably the one that I am more interested in. Let's see what settings there are there. Analog. It's got a nice round tone to it. Obviously, we've got some more controls here where we can go in and fine tune the settings. Um, okay, so let's get into the uh, real fun. Let's see what some of these grooves are. Let's go with funk. Let's pick this bass line. Let's try some slap bass. So I'm going to say this a hundred times, you know, this is not an in-depth video, this is me literally looking around this for the first time, I've not played with anything, I've not seen anything really online, I've watched one video. So let's just pick that groove, I guess it's the same as it would be with the other easy plugins. I pick the key of D minor. Can we loop this? Oh yes, uh, I think that creates a loop, yeah, that's got a loop, that's good. Um, let's see, can I change that chord? Excellent. Let's, oh, hello. Let's go with that. Let's go back to D minor there. Can we have extended chords? Uh, Possibly, I'll come back to that. So I've got this loop going. An octave must put it up uh, an octave. So let's put this one off up an octave. Change the velocity a little bit in the amount. Some of the damping. Let's go with a lot more damping. Um, transition. Don't know what this does. I guess let's go with short. Let's see what happens with our progression. <laughs> Okay, so let's go and have a look at this in the grid and I guess if you 
see the notes here. So let me pop that. Sorry, I'm going all bit mad there. So here we pick a note. It's a ghost note. We can change the type of note, the note that is being played with. Wow, you can go really in deep with this if that's not working for you. Um, that is pretty cool. Can we zoom here? Yes. So let's go back here. Um, let's just try that as a percussive right hand. Go back to the in. Let's try all of those as percussive right hand for no apparent reason, just because we can. Okay, so yeah, I mean, you probably don't want to do that. Uh, that's probably one of the worst articulations to pick for that. Uh, um, let's do harmonics and see what that sounds like. So, so much um, ability once I guess you spend some time with it. Like I say, I have not spent any time with this. Literally straight out of the box, very excited to use it. Okay, so let's look at the drum and keys part where I guess you can just drag MIDI parts into it. I've got an easy keys here. I, let's see if I can just drag and drop this, um, this part into here and see what it does. Ooh, that looks cool. So this is what it sounds like. So it's actually quite bass light. Maybe I should have <laughs> picked a part with more bass in the left hand, but this could work really well. So let's see what's happened. Oh, also what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take that and put that in logic so we can hear it alongside what's going on. Okay, let's close that out of the way. Okay, so this is what it suggested not a lot happening because I guess it's following the bass part uh, exactly and that was quite a light bass part. Let's see what happens if we go to rhythm chords. Okay. It's following the chords and it's doing quite well. Let's put it in with the track. See what it also suggests. Show similar, similar, show similar grooves. Let's see what this one is. Like. That one's called Danger. Not sure it's totally appropriate, but let's try. in the right key that's in D minor. I think that might have worked by a flute. Let's go here and see if that finds what it... let's go back to the original one and see what happens. Oops. Tap to find So not bad at all. They're quite an easy way of getting that together. 
so that can be really helpful. I wonder what happens if we put uh, let's let's try a new that let's try a drum MIDI track. Let's go to easy drums and do the same thing. Let's drag in that there. This is what the drum part sounds like. So I'll just do the same thing, drop that into here so we can hear it. Let's close that down. So there we have it. Let's go to the final tab here, which I can see it's convert audio to MIDI. Interested to see what this will do. I'm going to use one of the uh, logic loop. Let's find something that we're going to go for rhythms. Okay, so this brings up the tracker session. It would really be interesting to see that we can do the, the bass audio. Um, you can see it in the background there changing depending on guitar audio. I'll try these other two in a second. That's, that was percussive, so it's just going to, I guess, take out the rhythmic information from that drum beat. Uh, and let's see what happens. Let's just click OK. So we've got a two and a bit bar loop. I guess the tempo is wrong as well. Um, Let's see what happens. So we've got a mix control here. Um, we've got an amount of notes. Let's see what happens. So that's basically just playing in line with the loop that I've put in. We can mix, I guess, the audio with um, the MIDI output from the bass from Easy Bass. Let's get that looping as well. Hear it with the audio. So let's select some of these and try some changing it to percussive mute. Well, that was an unintentional find there. Again, I'm going to have to spend a lot more time with this. You can just drag and drop notes down as you see fit onto different articulation. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's just try that with, it said a guitar part, let's discard that. Let's try uh, a 
guitar. Okay, let's try that, see what it does there. So that's guitar audio to bass. Let's click, okay. Ah, oh, that's where you sort the tempo out. Uh, okay, so we should all be fine now because we all should be at 100 BPM. So let's see what happens there. created a bass part. It's a little bit low, I guess. Let's amount of notes. We can, I guess, delete notes here. Uh, another one that needs to be played with, I guess. Um, let's see what happens. So let's um, let's turn the threshold down for notes. So we're getting fewer notes there. That's quite a nice, easy thing to do. That's really, really easy, and I think you know you could easily play a bass line on a guitar and then get it translated. So that might be an option for some of you. So there we go. There is the very quick uh, bluffers guide to easy bass. Literally downloaded that, played it, and I think you can see that we could easily put something together very, very quickly here. That's without looking at the menu. That's without looking at any tutorial videos. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, sounds pretty cool. Uh, he says. Bass sound pretty cool. Lots of things to explore there with the effects and the different tuning. Uh, I'm going to guess that TuneChat will be developing a lot more bass libraries over the coming time, given the number of drum and MIDI keys, uh, MIDI libraries that they have out. I'm sure that this is something that they will be developing uh, in the future. Really, really impressed from that very, very quick run through. I'm now going to try and see how long it will take me to put a whole track together. Hope you enjoyed that. I've been Brucey. I will catch you later.